Air travel is picking up. People are getting their vaccines, they're fully vaccinated, they're ready to travel, they're getting on planes, and then they're getting super rowdy when they're told that they need to wear masks. It shouldn't be surprising that this is an issue because we spent the entirety of the coronavirus pandemic with a nonsense culture war being fought in regard to whether or not Americans should be forced to wear masks. And so people who have decided to drink the GOP Kool-Aid in regard to mask wearing feel entitled to boarding a plane and just going against what that airline's policy is in wearing masks. Now. I'll give you a few examples later. Now, in this particular case that I'm about to bring up, we don't know if it's over masks, but we do know that it's another case of someone getting incredibly rowdy and dangerous on a flight. A man was arrested last week after allegedly banging on a Delta cockpit door, demanding the plane land and tussling with a flight attendant. In May, a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines had two teeth knocked out by a furious passenger. And by the way, these aren't isolated incidents. The Federal Aviation Administration says it had received about 2,900 reports of unruly passenger behavior since January 1st. Roughly 2,200 of those involved passengers who would not comply with the federal mandate to wear a face covering. When the FAA last released an update on May 24th, it had gotten 2,500 reports of bad behavior with about 1,900 involving masks. So masks continue to be an issue. I'm sure some of you came across footage of a passenger on a Delta flight who became unruly, who became violent and was attempting to open the airplane's door as the flight was in air, as the aircraft was in the air. And so it was a traumatic looking situation to the point where the pilot Pilot had to make an announcement calling for help from some of the passengers. Let's take a quick look at that. So in one of the videos that I saw of this incident, you can literally hear the pilot asking for males on the flight to come for, like come to the front to help restrain this guy. He told the passengers to put their masks on because he was about to open the door. Luckily, he wasn't actually able to do that and they were able to restrain him. But Flying is gonna be probably worse than it was before the pandemic happened, right? It was already unbearable, but with all of these incidents, I feel like it's gonna be even more like militant. Like these these airlines are gonna be even more militant in like restraining us <laughs> and automatically assuming that we're gonna be the bad guys. And it's all because of the actual bad guys serving as problems on these flights. So there's three different issues here. Um, and, and I think they're combining for this toxic stew. And, and by the way, the numbers are huge. Uh, already in May, uh, through May, uh, they had more incidents than they had in a decade uh, before. So it's totally out of control. And and so number one is, is clearly the mask issue. Uh, you're taking away my freedom, okay. It's not how freedom works, right? You don't have the freedom to do anything you want. Could you go stark naked on the plane? No. Are oh, you taking away my freedom? Well, I guess in that little way, right? But there's normal bounds that we could do on a yeah. plane. Oh, can you bring a rocket launcher onto a plane? No. Oh, you're taking away my freedom. Yes, there are reasonable restrictions we can have, right? And so, look, we're some of us are frustrated about the mass. Uh, after we've been fa vaccinated and, and I know that it's stretching on. But we're in this middle ground here. It looks like they're gonna lift the mask mandates on the public transportation in early September. It's okay, I'm fully vaccinated. Sometimes when people are wearing masks outside and give you the stink eye when you're not or whatever, when you're 28 feet away from them, it's a little annoying. Should you try to crash a plane over it? No. No, okay, yeah. and look, you might not, I might not agree with all the laws, but within bounds of reason, let's try to follow them, especially if they affect 
actual public safety of others mm -hmm. potentially, right? And so, and, and certainly on the planes they do, because if you open that door, everybody's gonna die. Um, so look, but there are two other factors that people aren't talking about enough. One was actually alluded to at the very end of the one of the articles on this on the, in the Washington Post. It's a sense of entitlement. Because the right wing in this country have been told, no, you have unlimited rights and no one else matters. The others do not matter at all. They're wrong and you're right. You're being a patriot if you defy the laws, if you defy the feelings of others, if you defy common decency and morality, you're a patriot. That's freedom, freedom. So they are genuinely shocked when Someone says, no, you're not allowed to do anything you want. They're like, why not? I, don't yeah. I rule over you? Listen. No, you don't rule over us, you just don't. Last thing is, I keep coming back to this stat, because guys, that's an iceberg and we're all ignoring the iceberg. 28% of Republicans say they are ready to resort to violence. And so, there they, and there they are, they're resorting to violence. And so it's gonna boil and boil and boil until it gets worse and worse, because everybody, it's so uncomfortable. Everybody wants to divert their eyes and they don't want to deal with it. The reality is the culture of right wing in this country is is encouraging violence and that's why you're seeing this. It's going to be a wild boy summer. That's what it's going to be. Oh. <laughs> it just is. It is. I like I think it's part yes, I think that the explanation of GOP messaging in regard to mask wearing is a huge part of this. But there's also I I, I just feel like everyone I can feel it when I'm out or when I'm at a grocery store, right? Like I feel this tension. Like people are like they're pent up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people are almost looking for conflict or looking like I don't know, like they're looking to express themselves in some way and unfortunately in some of these cases it comes out in a violent way or in a disruptive way. Yeah. Well, look, if I'm going to go a little bit further, the reality is we don't like each other anymore. Um, oh, Jake, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, on a political level and unfortunately on a social and cultural level, um, do Democrats really respect uh, Trump people who say you shouldn't do vaccines, you shouldn't do masks, you should do violent revolutions if your guy doesn't win in a democracy? It doesn't matter if you lose 60 court cases in a row, facts don't matter, etc. And we don't care about you guys and we feel entitled and we, if, we'll if we even end your democracy if it's gonna impinge on our power. Yeah, well, we don't like that and we don't like you, we don't like your attitude. And how about the Republicans? Is it like when I say that, they get their feelings so hurt. I knew it. <laughs> Democrats said me things about us. Are you guys kidding me? The whole uniting thesis of the Republican Party isn't free trade or fair trade or regulation or deregulation. That's for the donors. For the voters, the only thing that unites them is own the libs. We hate the liberals. We hate the others. And that's that fear and hate that unites them. So is it surprising that we're now beginning, we're at the very, very beginning of this, of nonstop clashes because we actively dislike each other. That's, it's, it's a super uncomfortable reality, but it's definitely true. Yeah, just try to, try to put out positive energy. You know, I'm no, trying. No, really I hear hard, you, but, and I, yeah. I look. I this breaks my heart. We're, we're, I mean, but I'm not, I'm not. That might sound like an exaggeration or something that maudlin that a, somebody on TV might say. But really, we're split apart as a country, and they poison the well. Yes. They they brainwash people into thinking you are entitled to everything, and the others are taking things from you. The welfare queens and the Democrats and black people and immigrants and Muslims, they're taking your way of life. And, and, and you know, and look, Tucker Carlson every night, hate, 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 hate over and over again. And he puts that poison into people's minds and they go around Looking like oh these liberals and Democrats they make us drink Starbucks every yeah, day. <laughs> right, that's yeah. right. I mean, he even said that, right? Guy's a lunatic. He said, oh, they're gonna make you drink Starbucks every day. So, are you surprised that the right wing hates us? And then at that point, the left wing goes, well, then screw you too. And, and by the way, especially if you're saying you're willing to enforce your ideology on us, whether we agree or we don't agree. 
you know, and you're willing to take away our democracy and you hate this country? Uh, no, no deal, we, we don't agree. This is gonna get, I mean, I wanna put positive energy in the world and I hope it happens. And by the way, if there's any sane Republicans left, I, I we do interviews on, on a show we call The Conversation. I, I give open forum for us to have a real back and forth. I'm ready to have a back and forth with almost a, a, any like non insane person. In fact, I've had QAnon people on, right? I just don't want talking points from corporate uh, robots, whether they're Republicans yep. or Democrats. And I don't want lunatics who are gonna drive people into violence, etc. right? But we've gotta talk it out, I'm willing to talk it out, I'm willing to hash it out. But what I'm not willing to do is surrender to them. And so uh, I wish I could tell you that things were gonna get better, but I think they're going to get significantly worse. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.